Now we've got 20 new doors and we're gonna use Cosmo XL. Now for this demo, it wouldn't matter if you had the standard Cosmo or the Cosmo XL. We probably won't be using any features that aren't on both, but this is what we got here at the factory today. So this is the one I'm gonna use. And we're also gonna employ our edge sander. Now, our edge sander is on the other side of the shop. So we're gonna go edge sand all 20 doors. We're gonna start the timer, and then we're gonna come here and run 20 through this cell, and we'll see what our time per door is. make sure that we capture every last second. We're gonna use the quantum lean production timer. We're gonna start the timer as we do the edge sanding. So that timer will be running and that edge sanding time will be included in our overall time. So let's get sanding. Okay, so all the edges are done according to our timer. It took us 13 minutes and 30 seconds to do all four edges of 20 doors. So that's corners broken, uh, sanded with three different grits up to 320. They feel like glass. So now as we start running the doors through the robot cell, the quantum lean timer, we'll take that into account and you'll see our average time per door coming down and down and down. And when we get to the last door, that will be our time per door. So. Let's fire this up and get going.
So let's have a look at our timer now. Average time, two minutes and 40 seconds. And then as we uh, look through the cycle times, like look how consistent they are. 147 to 157, 10 seconds looks like the biggest swing. 147, 149, 154, uh, we got a 207, probably when it's blowing off the sandpaper, we get that bump up to two minutes. 150, the consistency really, uh, what a difference when we've got the robot pacing, pacing the operator or helping to. Great timer. Okay, so my lessons learned from sanding with machines, um, first and foremost, it was way, 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 way more enjoyable um, just to be the operator of that. Uh, and you know, I, it's just something about the pace. Like when the pace is up, you feel good. So like flow is morale. So if you have good flow, morale is gonna be high. If your flow sucks, then you know, everyone's kind of like bummed out. But you know, you saw on the edge sanding machine, I'm hustling, so I don't have time to think about not being happy. I'm over here, I'm hustling, and it felt great. So some of the things that I noticed was, and we'll look at the timer in a second here, but the times were almost exact. Not like when I was just human only, my time started out good and just got progressively worse. And only in two hours. I can't even fathom what my time would have been if I had to do that for eight hours. With the robot and the edge sander, my times were like within a few seconds of every door. Um, the machine pace was easy. You know, I wasn't struggling. Um, I could see what the machine was doing out of the corner of my eye, so I kind of knew where I had to be to make sure that the work was balanced. So it took all of the stress right out of the operation. I knew I wasn't falling behind and uh, yeah, this is something we'd have to teach everybody. Whatever you do, don't work ahead of the machine. If you get done a little bit faster, don't start the next door. Just stop working. I know, it sounds crazy. Trust me on that one. What I did notice was in the first video when I was hand sanding, I had to pee and I didn't think twice. I dropped the sander and I headed to the bathroom. This time I was sanding, about the 15th or 16th door, I had to pee. And I was like, oh man, if I pee, then everything stops, you know? And that all happened psychologically before I realized, oh yeah, we're videoing this whole thing. I thought, I'm gonna leave that in because I looked at the pile and I was like, oh, we have five more. It's only taking two minutes a door. Like, no problem, I can hold it. So I thought that was a neat, you know, psychological happenstance. My processing time was, was half about. So what was taking, uh, uh, you know, six minutes or whatever it was, now is only taking two minutes and 40 seconds, and that's including the edge sanding. So that's the whole door from start to finish, two minutes and 40 seconds. Um, and every once in a while, I'd have a few seconds, and the brakes were kind of nice. You know, I'd be done just a little bit before the machine, I could stretch, I could do whatever. Whereas before, if I wanted to stretch, production was stopping for me to like, you know, loosen up this old back. So overall, there's no question about it. Um, it was it was way more enjoyable as an operator and it was twice as fast. So uh, personally, I'm never gonna sand a door by hand ever again. Oh, the other cool part was the inspections were easier. When I was sanding by hand, I really had to look almost you know, in all of the critical places because I didn't know if I missed it or not. Whereas when I was teamed up with the machines, I know the edges are perfect. I don't even have to look at them and you're feeling them the whole time you're working anyway. And then you know the robot's not forgetting to do a pass. So the inspection was, was twice as easy. I hold it up to the light, it looked perfect every time. So yeah, that's it. We're gonna carry on this experiment. <laughs>